Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to learn about quadrilateral. Doors, books, cell phones are examples of quadrilateral. Did you notice something common with these things? Right, the three things mentioned have four sides. So that means quadrilateral is a closed two-dimensional shape which has four sides. Now let me ask you a question. Is a square a quadrilateral? To be able to answer that question, we need to know first the properties of a quadrilateral. First property of a quadrilateral is that it should have four sides. Second property of quadrilateral is that it should have four vertices. Vertices are the points where the side intersects. And lastly, the sum of the interior angle of a quadrilateral should be equal to 360 degrees. Now take a look at this square. Square has four sides. It also has four vertices. And the sum of the interior angle of the square is equal to 360 degrees. So to answer the question, is a square quadrilateral? Square is definitely a quadrilateral. In fact, square is a special kind of quadrilateral. It is special because all of the four sides of the square have the same length and all of its four angles are exactly the same size. In fact, each angle of the square is always equal to 90 degrees, meaning it is a right angle. Also, square is formed by two pairs of parallel sides. Let's have another example of a quadrilateral. Rectangle also is a type of quadrilateral. Rectangle has four equal angles but does not have four equal sides. Also, rectangle is formed by two pairs of parallel sides. Next example of quadrilateral is the rhombus. Rhombus has four equal sides, and all the opposite angles are equal. Again, just like the square and rectangle, rhombus is made from two pairs of parallel sides. Rhombus is sometimes called diamond. Next example is a parallelogram. Parallelogram has four sides and four angles but it is not all equal. It is called parallelogram because it is made from two pairs of parallel sides. Noticed earlier that I always mentioned that square, rectangle, and rhombus are made up from two pairs of parallel sides. And it is because square, rectangle, and rhombus are all parallelograms. It's just that they have special names based on their sides or angles. Are there quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram? Yes, of course. One example is the trapezoid. Trapezoid has four sides and four angles, but it only has one pair of parallel sides. Therefore, it is a quadrilateral but not a parallelogram. But the name trapezoid is quite complicated. In US, they name it as trapezoid, while in UK, they call it trapezium. But here's the twist. In US, a quadrilateral that has no parallel sides is called a trapezium. So let's not complicate our life. Let's just use the name trapezoid or trapezium for describing a quadrilateral that has one pair of parallel side. And for a quadrilateral with no parallel side, let's just simply call it a quadrilateral. We don't need to put a special name on it. So to summarize, quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. If it has two pairs of parallel sides, then it is called a parallelogram. Square, rectangle, and rhombus are types of parallelogram. And then, 
if it only has one pair of parallel side, we call it trapezoid or trapezium. And if there is no parallel side, then we just call it a quadrilateral. Now, let me give you a quick trivia. Did you know there is a regular and irregular quadrilateral? Yes, you've heard it right. There is a regular and irregular quadrilateral. And there is only one regular quadrilateral. And it is the square. Because it has four equal sides and four equal angles. And therefore, the rest of the quadrilaterals are called irregular quadrilaterals. Okay, before we end this video, let us have an easy exercise first. So, what do we call this figure? Yes, it is a square and it's a special kind of quadrilateral that has two sides which are parallel and we call it as a parallelogram okay let's go to the next what do we call this figure well it is a quadrilateral that has one parallel side so we call it as a trapezoid Okay, for the last exercise, what do we call this figure? Yes, as we can see, it has no parallel sides. Let's just call this a quadrilateral. That's it guys, I hope you learned a lot about quadrilaterals. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. We make engineering topics easy and fun for you. 